Hello, my name is Karen Belling, and I'm the Director of Student Financial Services. Our team oversees the functions of financial aid, billing, payments, as well as veterans benefits. So we like to say that we serve as a one-stop office for all things related to student finances. Wheaton is the quintessential Christian liberal arts college, the academic home for globally diverse, intellectually ambitious, deeply faithful Christians who want comprehensive, world-class quality in an environment of curiosity, conviction, and community. Because of who we are at Wheaton, we want the total excellence of Wheaton to be accessible to all. We do this by having a moderate tuition rate coupled with offering academic scholarships and need-based assistance. Let us start by talking about costs. Pricing approaches vary from school to school, which can be very confusing. So even before checking out scholarships in financial aid, it's important to consider a school's list price meaning what is charged for tuition before any scholarships or grants are subtracted. Wheaton sets its tuition at a moderate rate by using our substantial endowment to reduce our tuition, which otherwise would be about 20% higher. So for example, we have endowed faculty positions where the earnings from the endowment pays for those positions. We also have endowment designated for our buildings, which help pay for their ongoing maintenance. These are just a couple of examples, but by using the earnings of our endowment for these types of expenses, every Wheaton student receives much higher value of education than what is charged in tuition. Even with this indirect assistance, many students still would not be able to afford a Wheaton education. So let's take a minute and talk about the different types of assistance Wheaton offers. Presidential scholarships are our primary academic scholarship, and they are awarded to students when they get accepted to Wheaton. They are based on the applicant's academic credentials from their application for admission. The high school GPA, the rigor of the applicant's high school academic program, the number of advanced placement, honors, or international baccalaureate courses, and the ACT or SAT test scores if provided are all taken into consideration to determine a student's eligibility for an academic scholarship. Presidential scholarships are awarded at a variety of levels, which are reviewed annually and announced at about the same time as when the application for admission becomes available, usually in the July or August timeframe. Wheaton Grant is our primary source of need-based assistance. It is based on the FAFSA which is short for the Free Application for Federal Student Aid and can be found online at studentaid.gov. The FAFSA will ask the student and parents to provide income information from the prior year and current asset information. An index is calculated which is compared to the costs of the college to determine a student's financial need. The FAFSA becomes available on October 1st for the upcoming academic year. So, as an incoming first-year student, you would complete the FAFSA in October of your senior year in high school. Students who apply for early admission and submit their FAFSA by December 1st can receive both their admission decision and financial aid award before Christmas. 89% of our students receive scholarships, grants, or loan funds. So don't let finances hold you back from applying to Wheaton. I realize that I've provided a lot of information in these past couple of minutes. So please feel free to connect with us through phone, email, or an appointment, either in person or virtual. We look forward to being a part of your college search journey. Welcome to Wheaton.